I have tried to intro this video about 10 times so I am hoping that I will not need to intro this video again and that this will be all okay. Oops. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. Welcome to a brand new video. I would be really grateful if you could like and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. In today's video, which you would have seen by the title, I will be filming a holiday prep and pack with me video. Um, so this will be a more vlog style video for you all. Um, me and Kai are going to Dublin on Saturday. This video will be uploaded on Sunday so we would have gone the day before if that makes any sense um i did get it him for his 22nd birthday present and his birthday was the friday just gone um this video looks so dark it is around 11 o'clock but honestly it's really really dark and i have had to put my ring light on to try and get some decent itchy nose to try and get some like decent lighting which is probably why it's made my face look a bit orange compared to my hands but anyway i really got super sidetracked then and um, we are going saturday to monday so we are there for two full days i haven't actually gone on like a weekend trip before where i've only been able to take hand luggage um, this has literally been the stress of my life all, it's all I've been thinking about is only being able to take hand luggage how the hell do I pack with just hand luggage how do I take my makeup how do I take my toiletries you can't take full size products because it can't be over 100 mil it all has to be in clear bags and honestly my brain has not been able to cope with the stress of this situation and um, so i will talk you through all of my packing process and i also wanted to show you in this video my holiday prep i really 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 badly one need to fake tan because of this situation two i really need to pluck and tint my eyebrows so that would be another thing I did do my nails the other day so I don't need to do them I don't need to dye my hair I have just done that and I did have to wash it yesterday so I don't need to do that so really all I need to do is exfoliate shave fake tan and tint my eyebrows which I will show you all in this video as well so it is sort of like a get ready with me for like a weekend away so I'll just be doing my self-care prep as well as packing with me to summarize what this video will be about there you go that was such a long this is literally three minutes long and 10 seconds at the end of this clip I've told you what this video is actually going to be about. Today's video is going to be more of a vlog style video. I should probably take this jacket off even though it is super super cosy. I am obsessed with this jacket. I've got my cosy clothes on so I am all ready to start getting packed. So let's jump straight into this video let's not ramble for any more ellie you're already on eight minutes this is what i have laid out so far i am just trying to pick what outfits i want to take and um, but i will show you them a bit later on i'm just trying to summarize what i have got going on so far i've managed to fit all of my makeup in this tiny little clear bag don't ask me how i've done that because i don't know my makeup brushes don't fit in there so i don't know what i'm going to do with them for the moment i've then got makeup wipes because i won't be able to take my cleanser or anything and then i have just got a tiny little clear bag of little mini items so the toothpaste the little perfume spray shower gel hairspray but i will go through all of this with you as i am packing it is literally so dark i have no idea what's going on but we'll just get into this video so oh let's bring you down a bit let's bring you down a bit that'll do not that you can see me because it is quite dark but i will be taking this horribly pink hand luggage case 
best believe my airport picture will not be with this it will be with Kai's black one um but this is what I am going to be taking all of my stuff in um it's really not my style but it is only a hand luggage case so I can't be too specific when it comes to that um, so this is what it looks like on the inside and there's like loads of little compartments. I don't know why I'm showing you that because I'm pretty sure you all know what a hand luggage suitcase looks like. But anyway, regards to these things, I will probably put them in the zip compartment at the front. Just so when I take them out to put in the scanner for security that I don't have to open my suitcase and get everything out because... That is quite annoying, as you are probably all aware. That ring light in the background is really, really doing my head in. So I'm going to have to turn that off. I feel like I am a bit darker now, but we're just going to have to roll with it. I honestly do not know how I did fit all of my makeup in here. I did have to bring some alternatives because apparently you are only allowed 10 items each in a hand luggage case. So you're only allowed 10 items under 100ml in each case. So there's 10 items in Kai's and 10 items in mine. I have my makeup and Kai has like all of the washing stuff and toothpaste, all that really exciting stuff. Um, but I did manage to fit all of my makeup in this tiny little bag, which I don't know how. We'll just run through everything that I have packed in here. Um, so I have my favourite lip combo at the minute. This is the MUA Intense Colour Lip Liner in the shade TLC. And then my next thing, which you will all know, is the Ultra Matte Lip Cream by L'Oreal. So that would be the lip combo that I will be wearing when in Dublin. The next thing that I have is, of course, my cream contour. This is the L'Oreal True Match Concealer, which you have all heard me rave about quite a few times. I then have a standard mascara. This is the Max Factor 2000 Calorie Mascara. We then have the Revolution Super Size Concealer in the shade C6.5. Then we have the e.l.f. Brow Pomade. Cannot live without this. Will definitely need to do my eyebrows in Dublin. And we then have like the little compacty things left. So I of course have my beauty blender in the travel case, which I absolutely love. This could probably go in separately. I might not even need to put that in here, but I'm not quite sure. I then have the Ordinary Foundation. I do plan on being quite tanned, so I will only bring the one. And this is in the shade 2.1 Y Medium. And this is for yellow undertones. It will match me, because I do plan on fake tanning a lot. Only 30ml, so I should also be able to bring this in hand luggage. I then, of course, have my high heart revolution banana setting powder we all know that i absolutely love this powder so this will definitely be coming with me i then have brought my oldie but a goodie this is the ofra highlighter in radio drive it's really beat up so please ignore that and um, of course we all know that i do love the beauty bay palette but it's quite big and i wanted stuff that i could fit in a little travel sized clear bag like this and so this is what i will be bringing with me is what i have used to highlight this morning and um, it's amazing it is an amazing highlighter so this will be coming with me and lastly i'm not sure if i do need to bring both but we all know that i do love to bronze and contour so i do have my nyx matte bronzer as well as the collection highlight and glow sculpting palette it is everything makeup wise that i will be bringing to dublin with me and now i have just got to try and get it all back in this pathetic little bag i am going to put this in the front of the suitcase um so i will probably just pop it in here like so as i said just for when i need to get it out and put it 
in a box to go underneath the scanner for your security i can just open this take it out and put it on instead of having to open up all of my suitcase and get it all out that way next thing is this little pouch in here i do have might as well get all of this out for you as well um i do have a little oral b toothpaste this is obviously just a mini size and what i will be taking um i do need to pack like toothbrushes but i can do that quite last minute i then have a little pot of the charlotte tilbury magic cream which i will be using for my moisturizer i do only have a little bit left so i won't even need to bring that back with me I then have my vitamin E eye cream which I absolutely love and cannot live without. This is so so nice for under the eyes. If you can hear the rain and stuff then I do apologise. It is absolutely chucking it down. I will show you in a second. Um, it isn't very nice but I cannot tell the weather to shut up so I can film this video. Um, I then have a Lady Million perfume. I do only have a little bit left. I'm not quite sure if I can take this, um, but I'm sure we'll see when we get to the airport. I then have my trusty lip balm, the Cocoa Butter one from Palmer's. I have such dry lips, so I always need a lip balm, and I do really, really like that one. I then have a Ted Baker body spray just to put in my bag for when we are in Dublin. Um, this is the, it's a pink flowery scent nevertheless, I don't know what it's called. I then have this French Connection body wash and body cream. These I did get for Christmas probably as like a stocking filler off somebody, I'm not quite sure. Um, but these are what they look like. They do smell really, really, really nice. Um, so I will be taking this as our body wash and as my moisturiser for the body. You don't realise how good like little gift sets are. Like, do you know the Ted Baker gift sets where you get one of those body sprays, you get a shower gel, you get a body butter. All of those things are really, really good for situations like this. And I didn't actually realise how much they are needed until you go on like a weekend away they're so so useful so hint hint to anybody just buy me little cute gift sets every now and then and then i just have a little hairspray and um, i cannot go without hairspray i need it every single day just to keep the little flyaways from coming out so i do need a hairspray so that is everything that I will be taking. Of course, I will just need to put um, toothbrushes in at the end, which I can do, not a problem. Of course, I will be taking my hair, take hair straighteners in hand luggage. I've got no idea. But this one will be going in Kai's. So when he does decide to pack his hand luggage, whenever that will be, he's a man, when will they? Um, then this one will be going in his. I am so nervous about only being able to take hand luggage. I don't want to have to give up any of my things. Like imagine if I turn around and say you can't take any of that. What the hell will I do? I don't even know what I would do. I will of course be packing some pants. So I will probably just put them in here. And I do also have my black like loungewear bra that I got from Primark. I absolutely love these and live in them. They are really the only ones that I wear. I do have the white one on. Don't know if you can see through my see-through top. Um, but I will be taking the black one. So I've just put my underwear in these two compartments here. I then have my pyjamas and I am just going to be taking the top and the shorts that I featured in my Boohoo haul. Um, these are the black ones with the red hearts. These are just really, really lightweight and thin so it means then that I can put more things in my suitcase. You are only allowed 10 kg as well and I honestly don't know how I'm going to do it. 10 kg my makeup probably weighs five of that i just don't know then have my airpods and a charger 
these will probably go in my handbag so i will leave those out i obviously have my passport which will be going in my hand luggage i just need to figure out what to do with my makeup brushes um they're not going to fit in my makeup bag, that's the problem. I don't know to see if I can try and squish them in this, but I highly doubt it. I don't know, we'll leave that till the end and we'll sort that out. Um, I have planned two outfits for when we go to Dublin because we are there for two days. I'm sort of thinking, do I need to take like evening meal outfits? So like a, a bit nicer outfits for if we decide to go out. I've got no idea. And the first outfit that I have, which I've realised has got foundation all over it, is this black Zara leather um, dress. So I am going to be wearing this for one day. To go with it, I will be wearing this jacket which was featured in Kai's video where he picked my date night outfit. I absolutely love this jacket and I have not taken it off. Um, so it is this black jacket with puffy sleeves. It is quite long, it comes down to like mid-calf. Um, so I will also be wearing this with the black dress. And I am going to pair it with tights and then my Dr. Martin boots. I think that that would be a really, really nice outfit, but still keep you quite warm. And um, so that is one outfit that I will wear when we are there. I know it's all black, but when do I not wear all black? I will probably wear this to the airport. And um, so I won't pack that in my case. Same with these, because we are limited to 10kg, I think that these will be my day shoes, then I may take some nice sock boot kind of shoes to wear on the evening if we do go out for a nice meal. And then I haven't really planned a lot of the outfits that I want to take. I don't know whether to wear this as my airport outfit, it is quite comfortable and I was thinking that this would look quite nice with the black jacket that i'm also taking so this is the top shop um acid wash boiler suit that i brought in the january sales i absolutely love this and to be honest i haven't really worn it that often so i would quite like to take this to dublin it is really heavy though so this may have to be my airport outfit um and i may have to travel back in this as well because it probably weighs like 4kg on its own and um, so i may wear this with the jacket and then also pair that with my doc martins and i might may also take a gray beanie and wear a gray beanie as well and um, but i just thought that that was quite a nice outfit i haven't tried it on yet and um, so we will have to see how that goes in regards to evening outfits I may take a pair of jeans and a really nice top. Um, let me go and have a look actually because I will need to pack that now. And I have just put together two outfits which I could wear on the evening to Dublin. Depending on what we are doing, whether it's like a nice evening meal where you can be a bit more fancy or still a nice meal but still quite casual. And um, so the first outfit that I have put together um, is for like a casual vibe but still wanting to look quite nice. And um, so I do have this black top from New Look. If you can hear drilling I do apologise. I've got no idea what's going on outside. But I do need to film this video so we're going to have to carry on. So I do have this black top from New Look with the big black organza sleeves i absolutely love this top and it does dress up an outfit really nicely but it is still quite casual so i am going to take that top which i will then pair with my brown high-waisted leather skinny trousers these are just from primark which i did get quite a while ago these are such a nice fit and i do absolutely love them so i will take these to pair with the black top and i do also have a black belt which is in my car 
for some reason I don't know why so I will take that as well just to pair with this just to accessorize it up a little bit more I chose a bag which I will take to wear for majority of the time is this one I haven't really worn this a lot so I thought that it would be a good bag to take to Dublin and you can't fit a lot in it but to be honest I won't need a lot I will only need like my euros my phone things like that so this is the bag that I'm going to take it is like the Dior saddle bag but obviously it isn't because who can afford that bag so this is one from Miss Pap that I picked up at the end I will give you an overview of the suitcase and then I did also think about wearing this hat with that outfit I will have to try it on to see what it looks like but I think that this could look really nice um, and of course because it will be quite cold I will probably just wear that black jacket over the top and with both of these evening outfits I am pairing my black see-through perspex heels these are so comfortable and then the last outfit is if we go somewhere a little bit more dressier so i have this black calabasas t-shirt from pretty little thing and to pair with that i have also paired it with this pretty little thing leopard print skirt it is a maxi skirt but there is a side slit along the side i thought that i could wear this with those heels and also the black jacket over the top just to dress it down a little bit if it needs it to be honest i think that is me packed then i've got my underwear my bras my pajamas a day outfit two night outfit a bag accessories i've got my airport outfit which will also be like my day one outfit and we do arrive at nine o'clock on saturday so we still have the full day which is really nice and so i actually think i am all packed my makeup is in there as well i have done really really well okay so in my like bag that i'll be taking to the airport i will be using my louis vuitton neverfull bag i absolutely love this bag i have had this since i was 18 years old this was kai's 18th birthday present to me this is my everyday bag i use it for work i just absolutely love it it was so expensive but i do get the wear out of it i wear it every day and that is normally the one that I do take on holidays with me when we are going to the airport. I will be taking my MacBook. I'm sure I will have a video to edit when we are on the aeroplane, so that will keep me occupied. And to go alongside that, I will also be taking the charger. I have this black bag, so I am just gonna put the charger in there, just so it doesn't scratch my laptop. I then have this little Louis Vuitton pouch which comes with the bag and in here I have my passport, I will also have Kai's when he comes round, I have my airpods and a little phone charger, um, I will also have the boarding passes etc in here, um, so this is like my little document harder, harder no ellie this will be my little document holder for when i have got all of the important information printed out that we need i will then also take my purse this is my standard purse that i use i'll just need this for the airport to say if we want to buy anything and of course i will be using this when we go to dublin so a purse is essential i then also have my glasses I do wear glasses. <coughs> to be honest, I'm quite blind without them. I have to wear them when I'm driving and when I'm reading or looking at a computer. So these are as well an essential which I will be taking to Dublin. Um, I don't know where the glasses case is, so I do normally just chuck them in there, which I know isn't good, but oh well. Having me, I will also buy a book at the airport. Um, I am quite a bookworm. I do like to read. And I do like to buy a book whenever I go on holiday at the airport to read for the duration of the journey. So I will probably also buy a book whilst at the airport. Knowing Kai, he will give me about 110 things to also put in this bag. 
with him being a lad so i've left some room for whatever crap he wants to put in there i will just give you an overview of everything that i've packed and then later on today when i've finished doing what i need to do during the day i will come back on to show you my prep so my fake tan tinting my eyebrows and all the good stuff that you are probably waiting to see in this video okay so this is my hand luggage bag as I said, I have just put my makeup in here so I can just zip it open, take out the clear bag and put it on the conveyor to go under the security scanner. I then have my bra in here and my pants in there. I have put in a couple of extras because we girls and we all know that we may need extras. I then have my bucket hat that I would like to take to pair with one of the outfits. I have my heels for when we go out on the night. I have my one outfit, the bag, the second outfit and then my Zara dress is down there. One thing I do need to pack is tights which I hope I won't forget. And then in here I have of course got my laptop, the document pouch, my purse and then the charger for my laptop. Um, but that is mainly everything that I will need once we are out there and on our way to Dublin. So now I will just move on to prepping for the weekend away. I am so, so pale. I cannot even explain to you how much I really, really need to fake tan. And um, so that is first on the agenda. Good afternoon everybody, it is now nearly 20 past 4, I have just gotten out of the shower, I have exfoliated, shaved and I have just applied some moisturiser onto my face as well as on the areas that I will need to do before I fake tan, so like my elbows, my feet and my hands. Um, before I fake tan I am going to tint my eyebrows first. I have just brought my little tinting pot into the bathroom to do so um, and of course I will show you the process um, but before that I am just going to shave my face um, it is getting quite hairy and I definitely do need to shave it. I am going to use this little contraption and um, it is basically like a face shaver and if you put that bit up it sounds really scary but I promise you it is not at all. It's really gentle on the skin and um, it does do a really good job of removing the hairs um, or just trimming them. I do normally do this quite often um, but I have let them grow out so I am in need of doing it again. So that is just what I'm going to do now then I will be back with you to do the eyebrows. Okay, so it is now time to do the eyebrows. I am just going to groom them before I apply the brow dye. I am just going to go around the edges because I do quite like the shape of my eyebrows at the moment. So I am just going to use these little razors and they are super easy to use and you can easily go around your eyebrow. These are really, really good and I would highly recommend using these. You can also use these to shave your face. This is just good for getting any of the flyaways. So that's done. It is so super quick and easy to use and it literally takes minutes and I absolutely love this little tool. I am now just going to take my little scissors and I'm just going... And I'm just going to brush the brow hairs up and with any hairs that are sticking up I am then going to use the scissors to cut along just so they don't look too big and bushy. I 
I am sure that you are all aware of what I use to dye my eyebrows. I've done it so many times on camera. Um, but for anybody that is new and doesn't know how I do dye my eyebrows, then I use the Refector Seal Eyebrow Dye. I think this is like a henna. Um, it is number one, which is black. I believe and then this is it's quite gross but this is the tint developer that I use as well I will then just put it in like any random little pot I am then just going to mix all of that together with a random brush that I have found to apply the eyebrow dye I am just going to use this flat top brush from Zoeva. I have tried so many different brushes to see which one applies the dye best and this one is really good. It is quite small so you can precisely put it in the areas that you need and so I am just going to start working this onto the eyebrows. I then just do keep applying the dye until I'm happy with the shape. So I do love this shape, but I do need to add a lot more dye. Um, it's not coming out as best as I hoped, but I think that's because I put too much developer in. So if you do end up doing this yourself, then just bear that in mind. And so now you do get the idea of how to do the eyebrow. I'm just going to finish this one and then do the other one, and then I will be back with you to start the fake tanning process because I do feel very pale at the minute. I have run out of my Bondi Sands so I cannot use that. Um, I didn't really have time to go to a Boots or Superdrug. So when I went to Sainsbury's to pick up Kai's card I did also pick up a fake tan. Um, the one that I got is the Scent Mares Fast Tan. Um, this is what it looks like. You can leave it on for one hour, two hours or three hours. Three hours being extra dark, of course. But we all know that I will be leaving it on overnight. Um, I did use this before I went on to Tanologist and Bondi Sam's. Um, this is the fake tan that I used to buy all the time. It is a really, really good, cheap drugstore alternative to higher-end priced fake tans. So I would highly recommend this if you do want to fake tan but you don't want to spend an absolute fortune and to apply the fake tan I am of course just going to use a regular fake tan mitt I probably should have got a new one considering I've brought a new fake tan but I didn't think that far ahead so as you can tell this is already quite a really nice bronze colour and I haven't used this fake tan in so long so I'm hoping that I do still like it it was only £6 I believe I know St. Mares do loads of fake tans. Um, I haven't tried any of their new ones. I would like to try their ultra dark or extra dark. I'm not quite sure which one it is. Uh, that is what my arm looks like with one layer of tan on. You can already see a massive difference colour wise. I don't know whether you can see there. I definitely can. I am just applying two pumps like normal. Um, I'm sure you all know the drill when it comes to my fake tanning routine. If you would like to see my fake tanning routine, then I do have a full dedicated video on it. So I will link it down below if you would like to watch. It is quite difficult to fake tan on camera, I have to admit. So that is one layer done. Um, I'm not going to do my face because I've found if I fake tan my face after I've tinted my eyebrows, my eyebrows tend to go yellow, which is not good. I have had what's it for eyebrows before and it's an absolute no-go. Um, okay, I'm trying not to get my boobs in shot, but can we just appreciate how brown I am? Look at that. Um, I did used to use this back a day when I was younger. It brings me back to my youth, even though I still only am at 21. But my eyebrows are starting to tingle a little bit. A little bit. I honestly thought I just had a spider on me. But it was the hairs at the back of my neck. Oh my god, that scared the crap. 
out of me, let me tell you. I have just taken off my eyebrow dye and how good do my eyebrows look? Honestly, I am so impressed and I'm quite happy with leaving my eyebrows to grow out because it means that they look a lot thicker and they literally look like they've been microbladed. Well impressed. I'm so impressed with my fake tan and my eyebrows in this video. It's going good. Um, so I am just going to take this small um, round brush don't know this is a random one off amazon and then i'm just going to take whoa i was going to say i was going to take a small pump but a lot has come out wow okay then maybe i'll take that back about being impressed with my eyebrows and my fake tan if this is what is going to happen to my face okay let me fix this I am going to try and take the smallest amount for my forehead and try not to get it anywhere near my eyebrows because I really don't want to end up with the eyebrows. Thank you. Not in Dublin anyway. Okay, so please excuse the mess of my bedroom. We all know that I've been trying to pack today, so it isn't going to look as nice and organised as I would like. Um, but I did just want to come on camera to show you my finished fake tan. And um, so this is what it looks like before I have washed it off. Super, super dark, super nice, and it still needs to develop. So I think we can all imagine how brown I'm going to look in the morning. I'm also still super impressed with my eyebrows. I think that they look so good. I'm very impressed with myself right now. Should I probably end the vlog? I have only just realised. I am now just on my way to Lydia's house, which is my cousin. Um, I am just going to print off the boarding passes so I know that I have them ready so I don't have to stress about doing any of that. I don't have a printer and she does, so there you go my neighbor is currently staring at me um and so i will just end this video here i know that i have talked an awful lot i think whilst editing this i am sick of my own voice but hey ho i hope that you have enjoyed prepping with me for a mini breakaway and i hope that you have enjoyed packing with me as well and seeing what i have put in our cases to take away with us um as i said i will film at dublin if i feel confident enough um so we will know if that happens or not if a video does go up next thursday um so thank you for watching everybody and of course i will see you in my next video